Colonial Pipeline officials have declined to say whether they paid a ransom to those Russian hackers who crippled their computer system. However, Bloomberg News reports the company reportedly paid $5 million to the hackers, identified by the FBI as Dark Side. According to Bloomberg, once the hackers received the payment, they provided the operator with a decrypting tool that restored its disabled computer network. In a statement to CBS News, officials for Colonial Pipeline said safety was its primary focus and that it would conduct a comprehensive series of pipeline safety assessments. Meanwhile, President Joe Biden addressed the situation this afternoon from the White House. We want to be clear, we'll not feel the effects uh, at the pump immediately. This is not like flicking on a light switch. This pipeline is 5,500 miles long. President Biden has signed an executive order months in the making to strengthen the country's cybersecurity defenses. As we wait for supplies to return to normal, the Consumer Product Safety Commission is weighing in on dangerous things people are doing to get fuel. It tweeted, do not fill plastic bags with gasoline. The warning comes after images surfaced on social media of the trunk of a car holding bags filled with gas and video of a woman pouring gas into a plastic bag. CPSC says, quote, we know this sounds simple, but when people get desperate, they stop thinking clearly. They take risks that can have deadly consequences. Now, if you know someone who is thinking about bringing a container not meant for fuel to get gas, CPSC wants you to let them know it is dangerous. You can find all of our stories on the pipeline and the gas distributions on our website. Just go to WTVR.com. You can also get that information through the free CBS 6 app.